Hello, welcome to Enbadev.com with another C++ video tutorial. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this C++ web server application runs under Linux. Originally, this simple application can be compiled only under Windows. There is a little bit modification in the code, mostly these um, uh, functions that is not available in, in Linux. And I'm going to use um, Ubuntu Linux to compile and run the application. So let's check the code first. Okay. So um, so this is the code. Now I'm going to start compiling the code under uh, Linux okay so if I'm going to compile this one you will get the error so process.h no such file or directory so what we can do here we will create um, directives so since this process is not available in Linux so we'll use um, if define window 32 and then um, and if okay and let's run again okay now we have a problem on request so here so we'll use the same directives and then say else and if now here for linux um, we have to use uh, void asterisk and there's also changes in the uh, return value mm. we'll use this one again this is for window 32 yes. yeah. and then here we'll use some um, uh, p thread exit then none now begin thread x begin trade use directives again and then here we need to use um p thread p thread underscore t and then thread and then um integer thread equals um p thread and then create and then the request function socket <clears throat> and then lastly to thread we need to detach
ke file okay so let's check the file so we have main now Okay. and then um, we need to change this um, path so we need to change it based on your uh, Linux um, location so in my location here so it's so this is the location of this um, application so what we can do here is like um, we we'll remove this one and say media in seven save folder C plus plus server Linux slash web server okay so for Linux we need to change this um, port so you can say 8081 and compile again Okay, uh, let's open this um, Firefox. In this um, location web server, I already uh, have these documents. HTML. So what we can do is um, we'll add docs and then index. Okay. Now, at this point, it, it is actually sending uh, content type as text. So we need to send uh, a header that has um, um, content type and then also the content length. So let's let's start coding from here. Let's start. Um, adding some additional variable here say header and then um, here we can use s printf header and then let's say http 1.1 then say 200 okay 200 okay and then um, we'll create a new line and then uh, content type so this is actually um, uh, text HTML and then text HTML and then new line and then content length the new line and then um, connection say plus and then uh, new line and then another new line and then here the, the content and then skip the header and we'll use um, the subscribe line let's see again okay let's compile 
Hold on. Okay, so that's the only modification. So let's review the code. This process is available only in Windows, so you have to use directives. Second, this code, this line, is only available for Windows. So put this directives and then change it to this one so that it runs in Linux. That's the second. The third one. Return value. Fourth, the thread. Okay. And then the fifth one, you have to use this header. You have to create a header and then pass this to the client side. I think um, that's it for today. So if you have any questions, put your comments below this video. Bye for now.